Drunkards and stoners alike have always wondered, what's the best thing to get from Taco Bell? What's the best use of my $5? Well, I'm here to be a hero, because today, I'm living Moss, and I'm eating everything on the Taco Bell menu. What's a good Spanish word? Bien! Taco Bell. It's gonna be a big order. Yeah, this is so big, even more than I thought. So I need a crunchy beef taco. And is there like a black bean burrito? Yes, sir. I'll take that. A bean burrito? Uh oh, we're not eating today. A shredded chicken soft taco? Beefy burritos burrito? Why don't you order everything with any? There's no like order all button. Because nobody does it. Uh, and then a Baja Blast. How about that guy? <laughs> At the end of the day, I ordered about 60 items from Taco Bell and it cost about $180. Let's start with what's on top. This might be the na Nachos Bel Grande. What a smell. Also, the beef is orange. Huh. That doesn't taste like nachos. <laughs> the classic Taco Bell taco. Yep. It's good. <laughs> we got plenty of big old fucking burritos. <laughs> Which one? Rice, ground beef, pico. That was pretty good. The orange ground beef is way better than this weird pot roast steak. It's the power chicken burrito. Oh. This is a truly unique flavor I've never experienced at Taco Bell. What's wrong with my voice? <laughs> What's happening to me? I like a muffled voice of somebody who's trying to hide their identity. <laughs> uh, I think this Taco Bell is pretty good. Um, yeah, it's just, I think it's just a bean burrito. <laughs> it's like eating a gusher. I feel like that's what it's like to be a vampire and bite into a neck. It looks like when you cut open a zombie's arm and it's all gray matter on the inside, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps the greatest hexagon ever created, the Crunchwrap Supreme. It tastes exactly like everything else. It's crunchy and gooey, which I think is most of the Taco Bell food. They really strive to have that blend of crunch and goo, you know? Uh-oh, what's this? Could be anything. Taco Bell is known for using a lot of the same ingredients in different ways. Very inventive, very smart as a business. But how many things taste exactly the same? We'll find out as I put everything that tastes exactly the same into this bucket. <laughs> the gordita crunch thing. I believe we have the first candidate for the bucket. <laughs> in the bucket. I don't know about you, but I'm a mild boy. We have the soft taco. This looks like the standard. No, oh shit, y'all! It's the soft taco that's got potatoes in it. <laughs> Live moss. I think they're fiesta potatoes. People are sleeping on them. Five layer bean burrita, or maybe it's something else. Whatever this is, tastes like Taco Bell through and through. Oh, my voice is gummy. Bring out the bucket! All right, Mexico, call your Italians because we're ready for the... How's oh, a taco salad? <laughs> I thought it was the pizza. Look, it's the Donald Trump specialty. Uh, this is a salad. <laughs> this tastes like, um, not good. The one major shortcoming of Taco Bell is the lettuce. And this is almost all lettuce. What do we got in here? <gasps> This is the black. <laughs> this is not on the menu unless you're on the internet. I think this is delicious. The black beans actually taste like pretty solid black beans. Feels kind of like a big old flaccid dig. <laughs> take any, uh... <laughs> it's so wet. It almost looks like I could pour it out like a cup. Ooh, my stomach feels weird. Another gordita. <laughs> this is the volcano one, isn't it? I feel like my other or other organs are doing stomach responsibility right now. I've also just sort of begun farting. It tastes like old pot roast beef. Why would they sell this by the pound? It's gonna do a pounding on my stomach. They love nouns and adjectives. And adjectives. And adjectives. <sighs> my brain is getting a little full of sour cream. You look high right now. <laughs> I feel. Like, I don't want to eat any more Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, Y'all, this is my favorite thing. This is one of my favorite things. We got a chalupa. Motherfuckers get fired up. We're about to live my chalupa. 
I love chalupas. Bring out the bucket! Bucket. Chalupa. Bucket. Mini quesadilla. That's a bucket right there. Bucket. Supreme soft taco. Bucket. Crunch wrap supreme. Bucket. The cheesy roll up. The double decker taco. I'd say it's about a thousand pounds. Oh. Y'all, call the Italians from Mexico, cause it's time. <laughs> oh, this isn't a Mexican pizza. <laughs> this is the spicy tostada. Tell the Italians to go home. This looks like an incredible taco, but that's not how you're supposed to eat it. There's some kind of like Thousand Island dressing on this. <laughs> Tastes like there's some pickle in there. Uh, that's confusing. Somebody put this in a tanning bed. I'm excited. I haven't had a shredded chicken item yet. If you like spice, it's got flavor and spice. I was only bread. Look at that. Look at the fold. Sometimes you get the wrong end of the stick. <laughs> it's the same on this end. <laughs> Cheese quesadilla. I feel like they just spray it brown. Sure. Triple layer nacho. I shouldn't read it, but I thought it said the crazy bean and rice burrito, and I was like, yeah, let's get loco. It's the cheesy bean and rice. I'd say this is a good cheap thing to get, especially if you're vegetarian and don't have a lot of standards. <laughs> Some of their stuff just has an immediate effect on your voice. I like that they're all little toothpastes. They're all little taco toothpaste tubes. Don't be grossed out. This is what food looks like after you eat it too. What is this? <laughs> I hope I don't die. I hope I live moss. Get something else. Chicken loaded griller. It's good. If you like spicy stuff, this is pretty good. It's very creamy. It looks like milk. Oh yeah! It's what you want it to be. It's the Nacho Doritos Locos Tacos that comes with an extra piece of cardboard. When you line your hot food with cardboard, which is paper, the steam gets trapped real easy. So it becomes the soggiest thing ever immediately. <laughs> Why aren't the Fritos crazy? Fritos Locos Burritos. Why don't they say that? How do they come up with these names? They're like, uh, let's see, queso, bino, cruncho. Why did any taco place start using the word supreme? Call the Italians, Mexico, <laughs> because it's time for a little thing I like to call the Mexican pizza. Yeah. Yeah. It tastes like a cold taco pizza from a pizza place rather than a pizza from a taco place. I think this lives in a realm of, of cultureless food. In the bucket! Kinda tastes like a cat food taco. Taco Bell should sell this taco to cats. <laughs> oh God, the steak. This is what it looks like. That bite has so much steak. <laughs> that's the worst thing I've had. It's the only thing that's made me want to vomit so far. <laughs> I, I don't vomit. I never vomit. <laughs> what does it taste like? I'm okay with it. Get out of my taste test. I'm okay with Get it. Get out of here, it tastes awful. So the ground beef is, I believe it talk about like 80 something percent beef and the rest is like plant filler. Yeah. So the steak you're eating is probably meat. All cow foot, yeah. baby. And if it's not over seasoned, then it's gonna taste like. Ooh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, oh. I'm. Oh. Okay, wow, Keith. Every fast food chain wants to have something real spicy. This is the best taco I've had so far. Turns out the Volcano Taco is actually just the most balanced taco. Is there a life lesson in this taco? The one that was advertised as the most crazy is in fact the most normal? It's going in the bucket. <laughs> It, of course it's going in the bucket. It's the best example of the bucket food. You know why? Because it's Taco Bell. It's not Burrito Bell. It's not Cheesy Roll-Up Bell. It's not Quesadilla Bell. It's Taco Bell. And this taco is the bell of the ball in the bucket. After a feast of $180 of Taco Bell, you need to relax with the refreshing taste. Don't worry. This is just puffed food. Nothing. Cinnamon bites. These taste more like churros than the other things. I don't know why they don't call these chur churro churkles. Hmm, <laughs> 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 grab a bag of churkles. They also have apple pies, but theirs are apple empanadas. Wow, this f***s McDonald's to death. <laughs> 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 Let
Ugh. Live Moss. <laughs> the bucket is pretty darn full. I'd say that about a third of the stuff from this place tastes like the uh, all of it. And that's not bad. That's clever business. I've been trying to think about how to make my videos exactly the same and yet different for years. <laughs> if only I could crack that nut. <laughs> subscribe for more videos of me eating too much and also subscribe for more bucket. Is the bucket the fifth try guy? If you have a bucket at home you're not using, I'll take it. I'll be the new bucket man of Los Angeles. And like I always say, if it ain't fast food, bucket. <laughs> Can't remember the last two words. Live, Moss. <laughs>